I met everyone in, in the friend group, uh, Steven, uh, and then Steve, and then Martin just kind of came with the package. I, I just kind of thought they were like really good friends since child, like I just the way they acted. Um, and no, they just met each other here. They're very complimentary, you know. They've got that whole short, tall dynamic going yeah. on. And then Steven's always been the chattier one. And Martin's just kind of like... It's not that Martin's just there. That feels like a disservice no. to him. Yeah. But it's just like, you know, they kind of like... There was a bit of yin and yang balance going on there. Um, it just works. First time I met Steven was at uh, NSO, New Student Orientation. We were gathered by major, or maybe by college, and I don't remember the specifics. All I know is that Martin was wearing a yellow lanyard, and I was also wearing a yellow lanyard. Steven, in his initial impressions, he was this very talkative and kind of, I would say, charismatic guy. He knew how to crack jokes, you know, make everyone kind of around him laugh. He was so outgoing. Oh, how different he is now. <laughs> he just seemed like a guy. Just some dude. He was like, I could chill with this guy. And then it became, I'm, he's my roommate now. He popped the question just kind of during one of the sessions where we were together and he was like, hey, you want to be roommates? Because, you know, we, we kind of got along well. It was, we hit it off. And that's how we spent our first year in the same dorm room. It was roommate at first sight, on the, as, as they say. And after that, COVID hit, which of course threw a wrench in absolutely everything. After that, it was kind of like over the summer break, vacation, stuff like that. Kind of everyone got together and just kind of discussed about maybe renting out a place so that we have somewhere other than the dorms, which were honestly kind of eh. What, uh, what do you guys have in common with each other? Too much. <laughs> we're both Asian overindulging in YouTube videos. That's always a big one. <laughs> we both speak Mandarin, not Cantonese. Of course, we were both studying computer science. Games. For a while, I know like in freshman year, we played a lot of Minecraft. We had another floor mate as well, where we would just stay up until like three or 4 a.m. We're both reading a good bit of Brandon Sanderson, or at least we both knew of the author. We participate in these short films my roommate keeps uh, my roommate keeps making. And procrastination. Are you and Martin gay? <laughs> Am I Steven sexual? Is that what you're trying to say? Sure. I, I, I don't know. I don't think so. Who knows though, really? I am current. I am straight, but you know, I don't, I, I don't think I'm gay. I don't think that they're gay in the traditional sense. I think they're gay in like the anime sense where you have two male characters who are so entwined with each other. Like I, they transcend romance. So I think they kind of have like a Bert and Ernie thing going on. That's, <laughs> that's actually very true. I think they would like in a war, Martin sacrifices himself for Stephen. So that's that's what would happen. Steven carries him out, doesn't make it, gives him a single kiss on the forehead. I mean, like, it's so, like, they, their bond is so strong. I mean, like, S Steven has a vial of Martin's blood right now. Like, that is not true. Even a joke. Are you recording? Yep. All right, so today, this is a vial of Martin's blood. How often do you see Steven? Way too often, more than I'd like. <laughs> no. <laughs> I see Martin. These days, well, at least three times a week, at least. It, maybe I don't see him, but I still talk to him over either over cell or over Discord. Communication is kept. But it's not as much as it used to be. Definitely not. Ever since the incident. So essentially it boils down to, there's two apartments, 200, 196, each had, uh, so I was in 200 initially with Ryan, Steven, Ronan, and there were three people over at 196. We needed a new roommate because our old roommate moved out. He left our heavenly home, apartment 200, Rolling Green Drive, to go live four doors down at apartment 196 because the rent there 
with only two people, two of our friends, was a bit too much on their wallet. They'd rather have someone they knew rather than a stranger kind of living with them. So I just moved over and now it's an even split of three in each house. So Martin decided to be the sacrifice. Do you miss him? Every day. Every day. He's, he's a kind of the perfect roommate, to be honest. Yeah, no, ev people would be lucky to have a Martin in their yeah. lives. He has it set up that when you open the door, it's just his desk facing you. <laughs> and he's just like a, like a receptionist of no one. Um, yeah, like you feel like you're called into the boss's office, which is very indicative of his personality. Every time you walk in, you feel like you're about to be fired. For Martin's birthday, I wanted to do something new, interesting. So... I parodied Gary Come Home from Spongebob Squarepants. Martin, I know I was wrong. I messed up, but now you're gone. I recorded the entire song in Ryan's closet. Just did some very minor editing, put it together. They were honestly very touching. I'd never tell that to Steven's face. It was so out of left field. Yet there was also so much effort put into it. You couldn't, you just kind of had to respect like, oh wow. Man has the voice of an angel or demon tempting you into hell. Who knows, really? But there is another song in the works. The song needs to obviously be something that I know. If I don't know the song, I can't provide a good parody rendition. It needs to be either funny or overly dramatic. I'm hitting overly dramatic with this one. It's a song by Phineas with an F. Break my heart again, but it's leave my home again. I think this I think this one's a winner. Hey Mart. Hey Mart. Hey hey Mart. Hey Mart. Do 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 hey Mart. Hey Mart. The motivation for this was because Martin actually came back. He didn't move back, but he moved his computer and set up back to two hundred. For one weekend, he came back for, because 200 has much better um, internet connection than 196. But he realized that with a good internet connection, he played too many video games. So he went back to 196. For there, while there is shittier Wi-Fi, that in of itself gives him an excuse to do more work instead. There's a bit in there. If I get that, if I trim that last little bit, that might be, that's our Hey Mart right there. That's our Hey Mart. Let me save that. Let's update the original. I clipped too much. This is, oh, oh geez. Can we undo? Can we untrim? We can't un... Yikes, all right, we're redoing that. Hey Mart, hey Mart. That last one maybe? Oh, my, my, my ass is getting numb. Yes, of course. That sounded good. It wasn't. <clears throat> We're gonna be up for a while. <laughs> So, what are we doing, Steven? We're gonna be showing Martin a song that I really rushed to complete. Yeah. Hey, Mart. I'm just now leaving. Will you come around? Later on this evening Or do You need time Yes, of course That's fine Hey, Mart Good morning I'm sure you're busy now Why else would you ignore me? Or do you need space? You can't help it if your mind has changed. 
So go ahead and leave my home again Leave me wondering why the hell I ever let you in Are you the definition of duality? Or am I? Oh, it must be nice To live with them When we just won't suffice It's too new Now Ryan's sleeping Yet you hear and feel his soft and somber weeping Do you Think I've gone blind? I know it's not the truth when he says I'm fine So go ahead and leave my home again Leave me wondering why the hell I ever let you in Are you the definition of duality? Or am I? Oh, it must be nice To live with them When we just won't suffice Don't pretend That I'm the instigator You are the Martin You were born to say goodbye Left again Just two days later That same roomie Now just us guys Go ahead and leave my home again Leave me wondering why the hell I ever let you in Are you the definition of duality? Or am I? Or am I? It must be nice to live with them when we just won't suffice. Yeah. That was beautiful. I still can't say. I know you spent more time on it. It's not as good. It's not as good as Gary Comes <laughs> Home. It's, it's, it's nothing, nothing will ever be. Martin, come home. Martin, come home. Thank you. You know what? Thank you, Steven, though. Thank you for the song. Thank it's you. Not being genuine. Come here. Come hither. Come hither. Come over here. That's about all you get. Right. And you're just gonna sit, stand there awkwardly like this? Is that is that how this is gonna go, huh? Yeah, yeah, is this? no. I put too much effort, effort into this. Yeah, fair. For me to be happy with the product. It's still pretty good. I give it a four out of 10. Whoa. Gary come home, sits at eight out of 10. You're done. Thank you, Steven. Yes, all right. I don't know. Cut. <laughs> Cut. Cut. No, 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 no. Why are you Cut. cutting? Why are you cutting? Cut. The only thing I'm cutting is Steven's head off. Huh? What is next? I don't know. Unfortunately, I'll probably still see him around because he's going to be in Boston and I'll also be around the Boston area. So, you want me to move back? I mean, I could use less rent. Steven, if you're watching this, You're probably not keeping that in. I hope you're not keeping no, that I, in. No, I, 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 I want to. If you don't want me to keep it in, then I don't have to. I don't to. know about you, me just flipping off your entire class. I don't know. Well, you're flipping off Steve. Oh, that's true. Because sometimes I look in their eyes And that's where I find a glimpse in my heart and I try to fall for their touch But I'm thinking of the way it was Said I'm fine, said I moved on 
I'm only here passing time in their arms, hoping I'll find a glimpse of Mart.